This is GABNET, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Let's all sing. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's Alex, and it's the Ramble, where nothing works. <laughs> and welcome to our Thursday night show, the first show of the week. And tomorrow night will be the last show of the week. That's the way it goes, okay? Oh, man, I'm sorry I had trouble getting on tonight. A little slow getting on, but we got on on time. I mean, most of you people out there are enjoying yourself, and uh, good, you know? We made it to the air. Let me just make sure everything is on here correctly, because nothing usually works right, okay? And uh, there we go. And let me see, am I here? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, oh, well, is it work? Oh, yeah. Okay, there we are. All right. I wish you could see it. Then you could see what, what's happening. Well, here we are. We got a show tonight. Didn't have a show last night. Uh, well, let's bring Phil into the proposition here and uh, see what wonderful background he has on himself. Oh, there's uh, Telegraph Hill, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, I think the, so. that's it's right like, behind Ghirardelli Square, so that must be that, Telegraph. That kind of yeah. gets close to being the. It's North Beach. Yeah. Okay. It's where I was born. Yeah. On Filbert, right. at the top it's of just at, Filbert, I think. At, well, right? one block down Filbert Street, which is a street that is this this angled. Okay. So yeah. I always look to this day like I'm walking into the wind. <laughs> you know, it's good exercise. I'm yeah. paying a lot of money every month to have somebody train me. You know, really, it's great exercise. Yeah. Well, I had trouble getting on tonight. Yeah, I figured that because when I finally I went, I, I was doing a few things here, and then when I went to almost start the show, uh, the camera wouldn't start up on uh, on uh, on Zoom, yeah. uh, and well, uh, that meant so then I had to reboot the whole machine. And I rebooted it, and I got it on about a minute after I usually go on, but it's not exactly the start of the show, so it doesn't matter. All right? Yeah. Well, but, but, you, you've been you've been having uh, you know some stuff going on. Uh, well, no, but I mean, let's get to that in a minute. Yeah, in a minute. So okay. I've been having technical problems, right? Yeah. But we will not have them, hopefully, at the end of this weekend. Why you're uh, quitting? <laughs> yes. No. Uh, I'll show you why I'm not quitting. Hold on. Oh, you bought more stuff. Let me show you. I gotta go get it. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we are. This is the reason why. <clears throat> Hold on a second. I gotta put my earphones back on. Otherwise, I can't hear you, which is actually a blessing if I think about yeah. it. You know, um, I, I gave up on earphones, and I'm uh, just listening to you through the speakers. Yeah, well, I, I was thinking of going to that because I can do it, you know. Um, the reason I'm not going to have any real computer problems, I don't think, any longer is uh, this. Oh, you, you got one of those new Mac. Uh, it's not a mini. It's a studio. It's called a Mac uh, Studio. I don't know if you can right. see that. Every, I have heard just nothing but fantastic reviews about and, it. And actually, I bought the cheaper of the two because yeah. they say it's actually better. The yeah, other one, are you going to use it for the uh, the cabinet? It, it's, or replacing, use... it's replacing the trash can. Oh, really? Yeah, the only thing is it's got, it's got uh, uh, two um, ports, USB ports. And yeah. I've got to connect another USB thing in here and here because uh, I've got a lot of USB stuff plugged in. Don't we all? But I think this will read them all better, you know. I mean, this is a, an up-to-the-minute uh, stage uh, thing. Yeah. So, no, those are supposedly great. Uh, every uh, All the reviews I've read and the uh, people that own them say that uh, it's it's been fantastic, and a lot of people... I've yeah. replaced the trash can. And this is a did, this is a twenty seven hundred dollar version, because I yeah. got it with uh, one terabyte of uh, memory, 
Okay. SSD. And, and the uh, the uh, the the uh, what do you call it? The memory for the running it and all the stuff like that. I can't remember <laughs> what they call it. Sixty four megabytes. So yeah. it is exactly RAM, it is. It, yeah RAM. It's exactly the same as I have in this other machine, so now, that I can move everything over onto this machine and it will fit. Okay. So uh, even though people say that that's a fabulous unit, why? Were you having problems with the trash can? I think the tra trash can was actually, it, uh, it, it was, I think, maybe built, this one, in uh, 2015. The, the trash can came out in 2013. They haven't changed right. anything with it. And uh, it, it does have its problems. It's a little slow and whatever. This thing, you know, I have a, um, I have a, a Mini Mac with the yeah. M1 chip in it. And you'd think it was running as fast as the trash can. So I can't believe what I'm going to get here with the, what is it, M1 Max, or maybe it's M2 Max? Yeah. I don't know, the M1 Max inside well, here? Uh, it's The true test is when you're rendering your video. Well, now, I, don't, I don't render I, I, video. Well, uh, yes, I do occasionally. But the main test is going to be, can I do this show without having to do what I just did? Okay. Probably not. <laughs> I probably no probably, but anyway, this will be the new machine eventually that will be running this show, and yeah. it cost me close to three thousand bucks. Wait, uh, take care well, you know, you could probably still get uh, fifteen hundred or so for your trash can. But I, I had a, I had a lot of cash sitting yeah. around the house, and oh. I decided that I, I wanted to get rid of a lot of it because I really find I can't spend it anywhere. Yeah. You know, well, people don't, don't like, go anywhere. People don't like hundred dollar bills. People don't like fifty dollar bills. You know, you can get uh, probably fifteen hundred bucks for your trash can. Probably, I don't know if I'm going to sell it. I may still use it. I, I I'm thinking about if I sell it, I think I got to ship it and do all that crap. You know? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll get rid of it. I don't know. It it uh, it. You know, I had it, I spent so much money to get it fixed a while back. You remember that whole thing? That, I that I you got a deal, wasn't it? Like three hundred bucks, and you got a brand new machine. Yeah. Huh? Wasn't it like three hundred dollars, and you got a brand new machine? Uh, yeah. Well, it was four hundred dollars, and I got a brand new machine. What <laughs> happened is they fixed it, but they didn't fix it correctly. So they yeah. then sent it down to Texas and had everything inside it replaced. So it was like a brand new machine and. You know. Yeah. Somebody wrote, David Valecci says, congrats on the purchase of the studio. The matching monitor is not really needed. I know. It's not needed at all. You can plug anything in here. You know? Yeah. So I'm just going to use the monitors I have now. I may maybe change out the one of the ones here for one of the ones that I have in the other office because it's a really good LG, you know. Yeah. So, so uh, we'll see. You know, it'll take, it'll, it'll take me time, but. Anyway, uh, I'm probably going to try and install it this week, and I have to move all the stuff that's on this machine over to that machine uh, using a thing called uh, clone something or another. Yeah, make a backup of your operating system so if it does go down or something happens. Well, I don't need the. I don't need to do that because the uh -huh. operating system is going to be in, installed on this new one, and uh -huh. if I screw up and I want to just go back to basic, I just reinstall the. You know, you go up to the cloud to get it. So. Yeah. No big deal. No big deal. But anyway, I'm uh, I'm very, very happy that I bought this thing and got rid of all that cash, although I still have a lot of cash, but I got rid of a lot of the cash. Yeah. What I did well, is I called it be oh, my way. Well, I've been waiting for this version of it to come out because this is not yeah. easily. If you order this from Apple, it takes them f eight weeks to get it to you. So yeah. I was glad to see this configuration available again. And I called them today and I said, look, I want to pay cash with this thing. I don't want to go online and reserve it. But they said, just give us your name and we'll reserve it for you if you can get down here by 7 o'clock tonight. So I went down, got it, went home with it, and here it is. I don't know if it works or not. I haven't plugged it in yet. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, Apple. And if we, don't, if, we, if we don't have a show on, on, on Wednesday, uh, please forgive me, although I might do the show on, like, Facebook or something. But I, I, it'll work. It'll work. Yeah. I'm not. Hey, uh, talking about no show on Wednesday, uh, you know, I, I got the word. You, you told Shecky, and therefore he told Tony. And the now the whole world knows 
what happened to you. Well, then uh, I don't have to tell it. <laughs> you know, or at least the Tony connected world. Uh, did you trip on something in the hallway? What happened? Is that what Tony said? Yeah. He got it all wrong. No, no, he didn't say you tripped on something. He said you got up to pee. And I, why don't you tell it? Well, we start the night before. Right. Where we're at a restaurant here in New York. I won't say the name of it because they're very nice and they're very good. And we called them and they're trying to rectify their problem. But I ordered one of my favorite dishes, always. Whenever I see it on a menu, I'm like I'm like a, a fly to shit, you know. It's uh, 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 um, tuna tartare. Oh, uh, I, I thought you were a mac and cheese guy. No, r r when you give me <laughs> raw tuna, yeah, stacked up with avocado and things like that, I'm 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 there, you know. I I like sashimi, so I had that for dinner. Yeah. So now, cut to four o'clock in the morning, and all of a sudden I'm waking up, and I feel like I've got to barf. Wow, bad so, fish, huh? Bad fish. Apparently, I had a I had a, a, a gastro guy once, who said to me, "If you want to find out if it's food poisoning from whatever you ate, and you want to figure out what you ate that did it, go back about eight hours, and you'll be able to figure it out." Yeah, you know, so I mean, I'm I don't you know me I don't throw up I I can't tell you the last time I did throw up, uh, I've just never been a, a puker, okay if uh -huh. I can put it gently, so I mean, but I am nauseous as hell and I know I've got to get this stuff up, so then I go to get out of bed, but I am so lightheaded, I am so out of it that I can't do it so I lie back in the bed but I'm lying back in the bed with this feeling I've got a, a, just this horrible feeling of nausea okay yeah. um, so I finally decided I got to do something about this I got to get into the bathroom and uh, and and hurl so yeah. uh, I get up and to go to the bathroom and I am now lightheaded like you can't believe and just out of it and I get into the bathroom and I go to the sink, run over to the sink because I'm about to puke, to go to the sink and puke, and I hit my head against the sink. Wow. And I fall to the floor. And I'm not knocked out, okay? That's not what happened to me. I'm not yeah. knocked out. But I am on the floor. And I want to get up, but every time I raise my head, I want to puke. So I just lie there, and I'm lying there and lying there, and finally I yell out to Marjorie, and she she wakes up and she says, "What's happening?" And I'm telling her, "Don't you have a guest as well?" No, not now. Oh, not they're gone. Right. Oh. And I said, "You know," she said, "What are you? Uh, what, what's happening?" I said, I, "I I'm nauseous as hell, and I can't get up now. I just fell down. I hit it, my head it, on the sink and." Did Marjorie have any of this tuna tartare? No, no, oh. she didn't. So I, you know, I in fact I look on the floor and there's a little blood on the floor. I don't know what from because afterwards we couldn't find any lesion or anything. But anyway, yeah. anyway, I'm just ter it's just terrible. Um, and and she says, well, let me help you up. And then she starts helping me up. And I said, don't do it. I said, I'm going to hurl everywhere, you know. Oh. And I figured maybe I could like a inch up with my butt back into the bedroom or something or over to the bathtub and but I can't even do that I'm just so weak and so out of it uh, and I can't uh, I there's no way I could stand up Wow. okay so finally she says do you want me to call an ambulance I said what other choice do we have you know that's one way to get seen pretty quickly at the hospital yeah she calls 911 yeah and um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like uh, lying on my back. And it's interesting when somebody calls 911 and you're pa almost passed out in the bedroom, bathroom. And you're yeah. lying on your back in the bathroom. And I'm right near the street in that room, or somewhat near the street in that room. Yeah. And all of a sudden you hear the sirens coming, you know. And I heard, I could swear I heard two sirens. I think, you know, every ambulance tries to get the job. And then when the other one gets there first, they go home, right? 
So I think two ambulances tried to, tried to pick me up. Finally, they come up to the apartment and they say, well, we got to get, we, we, which hospital do you want to go to? And I said, Mount Sinai. I'm Jewish. Yeah. Mount Sinai. Did they pump your stomach? No, I, well, they can't do that. You know, all they can do is render first aid and get no, you. No, 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 at uh, Mount Sinai. Well, I, let me, you're getting ahead of the story. Oh, oh okay. So uh, this whole thing ends with the possibility of cancer, okay? Just, just to keep <laughs> you there, okay? Yeah. So uh, I said, Mount Sinai. So they get me into a um, one of my chairs. Oh, no, they brought in a, a, their own kind of, it's not a wheelchair, but it's a chair that has wheels. Yeah, it's, uh, they can use it to go up and down stairs. Yeah, stuff like uh, that. They're right. Yeah. So anyway, they take me out to the, um, um, uh, the elevator, el problem. elevator, and they put me in the elevator. And I can't remember. I think I was still in the chair. And then when we got down to the the lobby uh, they had a uh, gurney waiting for me there they and they transferred you they transferred me to the gurney and strapped me in you know they, they don't want to get sued right it, oh do you it, think that the gurney was too large for the elevator it could have been but it doesn't matter it was in the lobby yeah. and they could get me down to the but lobby. Yeah, yeah but that's why they didn't bring it upstairs Probably, although I think it can get in there if you turn it up. Well, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it has nothing to do with the story. Yeah. So now they take me to the uh, to the uh, uh, to Mount Sinai. Now the thing that bothered me it's the same thing that bothered me when Marjorie got sick and I, we had to get an ambulance to take her to Mount Sinai. Yeah, they don't run the sirens. Like I'm not in that bad a shape. They can't run the sirens, or at least give me a cheap thrill that we're zipping past all the traffic with sirens. No, it's just you know, we'll get them there eventually. How you doing, Bob? You want to get lunch after this creep goes to the hospital? Yeah. Uh, did they uh, put saline on you or in you? You know. No, the... they no, they didn't do any of that. They can't do that. Really? They can't. They can't. Uh, that would require an injection, and I don't think they're supposed to be able to do that. You know, they're only able to render first aid, really. Well, it, when they're in contact with the hospital by radio, mm -hmm. the doctor could say, you know, start a saline drip. Or... No, they can't do that. Oh, okay. They can't do that. Okay, so anyway, so they can't, look, they can't run the sirens. They can't do the other things, so, you know. What am, Fair what, enough. Yeah. You know. So anyway, so I, um, what happens next? Oh, yeah, so we get to the hospital, and you're right. It's better than having to wait in the emergency room lobby because right. you're being gurneyed in. You're already for them. And there's another gurney waiting for me, which they shift me over to, which they then take into the emergency room, which is chuck full of people. It's like a human body factory. Uh, yeah. uh, they were, were they all wearing masks? I was, that was, and they were all, yes, when you go in, in fact, I didn't have a mask because I was in my underpants. Yeah. You know, Marjorie was thoughtful enough to bring my pants along with her, which I put on later in the day when I was capable to, of doing it, but yeah. uh, I didn't bring a mask or anything, and I don't think she had an extra one, so they gave me a mask at the door. Here, boom, put it on. So, yeah, everybody in Mount Sinai had masks. Yeah. Were, Other, were you otherwise, like, what? what? Were you still feeling like aspirating? Or? Oh, I was in. I was in terrible shape. I was yeah. just. I couldn't. I st still couldn't get up, raise my head without feeling nauseous, and I in yeah. fact hurled once in the, uh, uh, in the in the uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the uh, either the ER. Yeah. Or the I'm M. looking for something here. I'll I'll show yeah. you in a second. I can find it. What did I do? with Huh. Oh, here it is. I, I got to go over here again, folks. So let me let me ask you what you think this is, not knowing right. what I was trying to lead up to anyway. What what is this? It's a hurl bag. Well, to me, it looks like an elephant condom. Yeah. Yeah. To, uh, it's it, probably it, to hurl in or uh, it is a, 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 a hurl bag. I said, I think I'm going to hurl uh, yeah. in, in the uh, in the uh, ambulance because I hurled in the in the uh, driveway here. I hurled yeah. in my bathtub 
So they said, eh, no. Yeah. Well, this is one they gave me once I got in there because this doesn't have any puke in it. But look what they do. They have a thing here that tells oh, you how, how, much how, how much you puked. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, you know, I would think that uh, the amount of puke that you had, that you were fairly dehydrated. That's why I asked about the saline. Well, then I said, I need something to make me stop puking. And the doctor immediately goes and gets a, uh, inject. First, they put on in the injectant, injection thing. Whenever you go to the hospital now. It's called it, a port, right? I, I call it my USB port. Yeah. It's like they, they, they get, find a vein, they put this thing in, they then tape the whole thing up, and then anything they want to do to you, want to give you the anti-puke stuff, they just go through the port, you know? It's there, and if they want to do saline, they go through the port, you know? So it goes on and on and on. So the first thing they did was give me the anti-puke medicine, and then they started putting me on the saline drip. Yeah. And uh, I was just, uh, finally, finally, the, uh, the puke went away. You know, the desire to puke went away, which was a blessing. Because when I was going in the ambulance, it was hitting bumps and everything, you know? And I was going, oh my God, I, this is horrible. You know, that's when I was using the bag they gave me, you know? Yeah. So, anyway. Well, New York, uh, I understand, you know, I, when I lived there, it was full of potholes. Well, uh, well this certainly was part of that, you know? Yeah. You know? So, well, I, I am. Uh, I'm glad you're feeling better. But well, wait a uh, minute. You haven't heard the full story. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, this goes. See, I plan on sitting around for the next 20 <laughs> minutes. All right. <laughs> so now they say, well, what's the problem? And I tell them what the problem was, and they went, well, first of all, we better go do a CT scan on your on your head. Smart. To make sure that you didn't do anything there. So I went and I got myself a CT scan there. Uh, and I had to go up, and that take, takes forever. Well, that didn't take forever. I, in fact, I was kind of out of it at that point. So they could have, I, they probably could have thrown me in an MRI and I wouldn't have panicked. I was just so out of it. I wouldn't know where I was. So they did that to me. They bring me back down. I'm trying to remember all the things that happened. And then they said, uh, well, you know what we got to do is we've got to it, it, check your heart. So, so you need a echocardiogram. I said, well, I've had one from my doctor. They said, not like this one. Yeah. So they and take did me. Did you tell them about your uh, your your little issue with echocardiogram? Yeah. Oh yeah, I told them I had a, 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 a what do you call it a aortic stenosis, mild aortic stenosis. So uh, I went to the, you know I went to the. Uh, um, up there and it took forever. I mean, they had me just sitting there forever and ever. And the reason was one of their their CAT scan machines was out. Mm. So so they were working at, uh, at a third of capacity or something, I don't know. Yeah. And it was taking forever. And Marjorie was sitting there forever. And, and they probably didn't want you to fall asleep because if you fall asleep and you'd hit your head, uh, well, no, there they, could be they, they didn't issues. care. They didn't care. Oh, okay. I, no, I was I just, was sleeping. Just another Jew. Well, no, I was sleeping. As a matter of fact, really. And finally, uh, I I went and uh, they gave me the they gave me the uh, echocardiogram, which took twenty five minutes. And I asked the woman, "Why does it take this long?" He says, "Well, your doctor just does a minor thing. He's looking for a few things. I'm looking for everything." And yeah. the wonderful thing about this echocardiogram, I found out that if I die, it ain't going to be my heart. <laughs> you, you know. Did they speed up your heart by giving you a drug? No, no, to... no, no, no. That, that this had nothing to do with an echocardiogram. That's oh, a nuclear oh, stress. Oh, that's, test. that's a yeah. treadmill thing. That, yeah, that's a nuclear stress test. So anyway, uh, it, it, uh, that they did that to me. What else did they do? They did uh, a bunch of things. Wait a minute. I have. Um, <clears throat> hold on a second. I got to go back and get something. I've got the whole list here of things they did to me. Um, and um, I got how much the, did uh, they charge you? You know, did, did they did they take you in and and this have you sign some stuff and report give them a credit this, card or huh? Well, this is no, this is the complete report of everything that went on yesterday. Yeah, and oh, all this okay. stuff, all this stuff is the uh, uh, the cat scans. But I want to get mm -hmm. away from that. 
because I want to find out what they did to me. Well, here, here, here is if I see, I gotta, re, I gotta look at this to just remember what they did to me. Um, it was. Uh, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Um, let me see here. They gave me the, they gave me the pills, uh, and then they give me med, my medications and uh, um, instructions. And now wait a minute, I gotta find this. Where is it? Here is a near Sinco, Sin, Sinco, Sinco, Sinco. They, they got. They really were treating me for the wrong thing. They were treating me for almost fainting, when they should have been treating me for the nausea and everything like that. And I said, you know, I had had this food the night before, and um, okay, but where's that list that I had? I had a list here. Maybe it was in. Uh, maybe it was in my. Uh, um, oh damn it! I'm trying to remember what other tests they gave me yesterday. Now, you said it was Seneca? Huh? Isn't Seneca to make Sin, you poop? No, Syncop. Oh, it's Syncop. A, it's a condition. Oh. I guess it's passing out. Uh, but, uh, well, wait a minute. Final result of this, that, and the other thing? I don't know. I don't get this. I have more stuff here. Um, more stuff they did. Wait a minute. I got an idea. What I'll do is I'll go to my... Uh, where is it? My chart. Okay. Yeah. My chart. Mount Sinai. My, my chart home. There we go. Come on, give it to me. Sign in. Okay. And now, because I think this is where I, where I found it. Test results. Okay. In fact, I can let people see the test results here. Um, let me see here. Where's the Where's the uh, computer? Right. I'm there. looking. There we go. There's the computer. Let me just put this up here. There we go. Look at this. They did like 17 different tests on me. They gave me a CT of my thorax. This yeah. is up here. That's what they did on the first one. Then they did a urine sample. My urine was fine. My urinalysis was fine. Uh, microscope exam of urine. Uh, urine dipstick, troponini eye. I don't know what that is. I, that looks like it's an Italian gel or something like that, you know. Uh, let me see here. Um, I want to, uh, let me put this in here. What do they do with the urine dipstick? See if you're low on oil? That was, that. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, cervical with without contrast, head with contrast, albumin, uh, this, that look at all this stuff. Look what was at the all this contrast? Stuff. This is all the, the stuff CT yesterday, scan? folks. Wow, is the, is the contrast with the CT scan? Yeah, that was with the second CT scan. I'll tell you about that in a moment. Routine test, gas electrolytes. Uh, then they went, oh, this was old. So from here all the way up to here are all the tests they did on me yesterday. And all yeah. the things they did, all the things they did. I don't see it on they, here, YouTube they, yet. They did a, they did a, um, oh, you know why? I haven't put it on YouTube. Let me put it on oh. YouTube. Okay, here we go. There you go, folks. I'm sorry you didn't see it, but look at this. Look at all of these. Look at all of these. Look. That, that That's about 17, maybe 20 different things they there did. There we go. Yeah, urine dipstick, Venus paddle, yeah, you know. So, I mean, it's really, what? look at that. Oh, wait a minute. What? No, wait, wait excuse one? me, that, that's another thing altogether. From here, okay, yeah. all the way up to, come on, stop it. Wow. Come on, stop it. I see this one that says conclusion, tummy ache. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at all those things, folks. Anyway, uh, so then... Let me see. Then I'm through with the with the electrocardiogram. By the way, you know the what what an electrocardiogram really is is a sonogram, but it's a it's a, a really heavy duty sonogram. Let me get back to you, Phil. There we go. Uh, it's a heavy duty sonogram, uh, uh, and uh, so she's looking at this thing, 
and she's trying to get me not to look because she wants me to sit still you know and she's rubbing the stuff all over me and the grease and the everything like that and I say I'm gonna say something I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a joke here and she's looking at me yeah I said and I bet this is a joke that just about everybody says to you he said what I said is it a boy or a girl she says everybody thinks they're funny saying that <laughs> Anyway, so they then do. And then Good thing they, you're not a comedian. I, I go back down, and they say, "Well, we got to give you another. Um, we got to do another CT scan on you." And I went, "Why?" They said, "Well, we checked your uh, your your ne head. There's nothing wrong with your head, but you have enlarged lymph nodes in your in your neck, hmm. and uh, we want to check and make sure that uh, you know." Of, of what it might or might not be, so we want to look at your entire body to see if you have cancer. Hmm. So well, they already put the contrast in, right? No, no, I didn't get contrast for the head oh. and stuff. I got contrast when I went for the second one. So now I go in for the uh, the second one, uh, and and this is the one where their where their CT scan isn't working. So I'm having to wait and wait and wait and wait and finally they they get me and they put me in there they do the ct scan i then go back I'm, i don't go back they back roll the, me the back. timeline this started at four in the morning right yeah this is now three in the afternoon wow yeah uh so i'm i'm we go back and what's wonderful about being in the ct area and in the electrocardiogram thing is it's very quiet there but then you're the old. Then right? you, yeah. Then, what? Were you in the hallway? No, or? no. No, you're in an office. Oh. And okay. they they then roll you back to the emergency room, where it's hell, a living yeah. hell, and it's more crowded than it was earlier in the day, right? And then I go down there and they say, well, we have to wait for your doctor to get the results of the CT scan. I said, oh, wonderful. You know, uh, that'll be good. Uh, they said, okay, and take about 15 minutes. So, And somehow these doctors write up a whole report. Look at this. This is like one, two, three pages of reports that have they, to do. They probably have a ton of boilerplate, and they just put your name in. They probably so. do, or things that they cut and paste. Yeah. You know, but, I mean, it doesn't look like that. Like, for instance, it says, um, uh, let's see here. Uh, impression bowel or something with my bowel where they said it was uh, unimpressionable oh no yeah 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 but anyway he writes up this whole report it's three three pages well the first one is on the first thing that I had and it said that I have enlarged rounded numerous cervical and super clavicular lymph nodes which warrants fur further clinical investigation Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know. Did they tell you all of this as it was happening or? No, 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 no. This is when we get the results. Found it out afterwards. Uh, the result of the second one was a borderline size pelvic, axillary, and retrospectal, retrospectal lymph nodes. These are nonspecific and can be reactive. Okay. Did you have your tonsils out? No, no, no. What do you? asking these stupid questions well, because usually they take the lymph nodes with the tonsils right not in my case i still have lymph nodes in my neck yeah oh. anyway i have a hernia it's nice to know though that there is no evidence of obstruction so that's good diverticulitis without evidence of diverticula uh di di diver diverticulosis without any hint of diverticulitis and wow. scattered, now here's what it is, scattered one to two millimeter pulmonary nodules. That's, that's nodules in my lung. Likely infectious slash inflammatory. Recommend follow up as per cl clinician. So those are the things they found that were bad. This okay. is the best exam I've ever heard of. Yeah. You know, and the most complete. Well, I mean, it certainly takes care of a lot of the questions I had about my health. But yeah. I looked up this whole thing about those nodules, 
and yeah. if they're if they're under three millimeters, you don't worry about them. You just keep looking at them, see if they grow or not grow. One of the ones I had, they said hadn't grown because they had another, I don't know where they got it. They had another CT scan of me from 2015, and it hadn't grown at all. So that one I don't have to worry about. The other one is a new one. That one I might have to worry about or have to go back, and because it's only two centimeters, they're not going to do anything about. Millimeters, yeah. and I can do anything about. It. They have to, you know. I, mean, I read all this online. I just know this as a little thing. Okay. Yeah. Um. So uh, then, what happened? Oh, so then uh, she says, uh, "Now you, we can we could have you go to a." Uh, she wanted me to go to a. What is it? A, um, a hema hematologist slash blood doctor yeah um huh is that a blood doctor it's a Hema blood doctor yeah hematologist who, he looks at the lymph nodes right. or she or whoever it will be uh looks at the lymph nodes and decides what to do with them uh but that, that that's what she does or he does uh and he's also a uh, uh what do you call it a uh what do you call it? people who deal with cancer? Oncologists. Uh, oncologists. Yeah. yeah. He, they're, they're all, all those hematology people are also oncologists for some odd and unexplainable reason. So she said, if I were you, I'd make an appointment just to have this stuff checked out so we can see if it's nothing, you know, which, you know, I, as I read online, it probably is. You know, it's something that either I, we have to watch and wait or has not presented a problem at, at all since 2015. So right, it that grown. and it says that most people who have smoked have these nodules in mm. their in their uh, lungs. So you know, I maybe I have cancer, but I doubt it. Uh, it, it the signs aren't there. Any, yeah, and it hasn't progressed. Anything uh, under three millimeters, they do, they don't worry about. It. One of them, Seven one of them, the other one has has come into being since then. Uh -oh. I, I don't know if that's the small one or the large one, you know. But anyway, I don't think the doctor is going to be panicked by that. I think that the enlarged uh, nodules, or, or not nodules, but uh, lymph uh, nodes, lymph nodes, is due to the fact that I had just been throwing up and sweating. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I sweated so much yeah. that the bed was just like soaked, okay? Wow. And then when they picked me up, the, the, the people from the ambulance, you could see the print of my entire body in sweat on the floor. So wow. tell me that isn't going to affect lymph nodes. Why, well, I, I hope you didn't leave too big of a tip. Yeah. But she, she, she was just all welled up with this idea of well, we don't know, we don't know if it's food poisoning or not. But it could be this, it could be that, you know. And I'm going, you know, it could be the answer for the lymph nodes. Right. You know, I mean, what do lymph nodes do when they get pressure put on them, when they get disease or something in the area? And certainly, there was a toxin in my body if I had food poisoning. It was yeah. reacting to the toxin, and maybe all those other ones were as well. You know, when I go in to see this doctor, he may feel for the for those lymph nodes and nothing's going on down there. You know? Now, did they serve this meal to other people at the restaurant? Did you call the restaurant yeah, to see? Yeah, we called the restaurant. They said nobody else had the problem. But, you know, how many people would call the restaurant and say, I got food poisoning there? You well, know, so. you know, I would do that because I wouldn't want other people well, to. Well, Marjorie uh, did it because she wanted them to know there might be a chance of that. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But anyway, so that's my that, so anyway, so they send me home, and uh, oh, that's quite a workup uh, for an yeah, emergency yeah. room. So you can see why I didn't do a show last night. Well, you, you know, I mean, I mean, you probably could have. Uh, <laughs> After all of that, I'd rather take the night off, you know, yeah. and not just go on the air and go. Oh, guess what happened to me today? You know. Yeah, well, I would imagine you were up all day, all night, all well, day. And then I woke up this morning, and I was afraid that I was going to be be nauseous somewhere in the night. So I was afraid. Oops, I just I just pushed something all wrong, folks. What yeah. did I do? Uh, I, didn't want I don't see anything I, wrong. I didn't want this. 
And uh, uh, oh, I see now. Oh, I yeah. see what I've done. I see yeah. what I've done. Hold on. You got it. I got twice. It. How did that? How did that happen? Oh. Oh, so uh, now, is this restaurant? Does it specialize in 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 raw fish dishes? Wait, wait, hold on a second. I got to get this mm -hmm. thing out. Oh, of here. sure. There we go. Okay. God uh, damn. Uh, now you've got your something else showing. What? No, I don't. Uh, but no, you're you're Alex. watching you're watching it in. No, I'm watching on. Uh, yeah, you're watching it delayed. That's what just oh, happened yeah. that okay. I was trying to clear up. All right, now it's good. Um, so, so you know, I I like I I at one point just wanted to have sashimi every day, and so I looked around for. Yeah, I went to Yelp and I looked at restaurants that were specialized in in sashimi. And some of them are not so good. Yeah. I didn't get food poisoning, but, you know, I could taste it. It was frozen. It just, it just wasn't the quality of sashimi you look for. And if you're going to eat raw fish, you really want something good. So I, I found a restaurant in Walnut Creek called Sasa. Mm -hmm. And this restaurant uh, has really fresh fish, and that's all they do. If you go sometimes to a restaurant that... Uh, has a dish or two, but doesn't have the turnover uh, of of fish. Uh, there's a you know a good chance you get sick. I ordered a pizza once with clams on it. Mm -hmm. I was I had food poisoning for three days. It, it was it was awful. This was the most awful thing I felt. You know? yeah. See, I heard I heard from Tony that you woke up in the middle of the night to go urinate Wednesday and realized that. Phil was going to be on the show at night and got <laughs> sick. No, I'm kidding. So I'm happy to hear. Don't that listen okay. to Tony's interpretation of it because he got I, it from I'm, he got I'm it happy. from he got it from Shecky, and then yeah. right. he then tells you people that I got up in the middle of the night with it, uh, and uh, you know I, whatever. You know. I, I'm was, happy to hear cool. you're okay. You know, well, partially uh, true. No, now I've got cancer. Okay. No, you so, probably don't. Yeah. So yeah, just you know, sin synco is is a medical term for fainting you were talking about yeah, that yeah but she time. made a big deal out of that and i didn't faint at no point did i faint i just i just couldn't keep my balance you know right well that that all that's consistent with food poisoning everything <clears throat> and the, the radiologist put unremarkable meaning they don't see any problem that's the, the, well, their they, way they, of saying they, you know they, yeah they go, went under the radiological radiologist term instead of saying nothing wrong they say it's unremarkable. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but I, it, it was funny because I looked at so my whole body. They didn't find cancer. They just found these nodules. These nodules. Sometimes these CT scans find things that you know they weren't looking for. So. Well, that's why I hate going to the hospital. Follow, follow is they're going to find things they're not looking for. You're going to be you know, around another twenty I, years. You know. Follow up. That's why I would like an MRI because they can take an MRI of your brain and they can see if there are areas that are black where the brain hasn't filled in and they can tell if you've got like Alzheimer's or you're on your way uh, to Alzheimer's or oh, dementia. If you, I looked at my thing and the brain part just was totally, it was disappeared. It was nothing there. <laughs> the back of my skull was... Uh, yeah. No, no, but it's that, that view uh, from your feet towards the head and they can see uh these open areas uh, you know because my memory has been slipping lately i've been watching all these youtubes about uh alzheimer's and you know can you can you get it early and you can if you discover it you know what can you do to reverse it and things like that well if they ever want to give me an mri they've got to send me to some place where it's an open mri i can't do absolutely it. i'm claustrophobic right. in those things. i have no problem with it yeah, some people. Have, Marjorie has no problem. She falls asleep. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and I, I, and I hear it's. They, I hear it's really noisy in there. You know? It is very noisy. Not yeah, really. It's uh, you oh, hear yeah, those magnets. That, they're huge magnets. They're moving around for different images. Yeah. Why do you and need it that? Sounds like a jackhammer. CT T, CT scans are usually preferable. You know. CT it, is quiet. It's like you go through a big donut. It just it whirls around. You know. Makes yep. a little whirling sound. Hello, Brian. Hello, Ray. Hello. Oh, there's John Larkin. Hello. As I live and breathe, and there's the the rumor monger, Tony Magno. 
I'm in Tony's circle, and he didn't mention anything about it. We're talking about Warriors all day. So. Who yeah. cares? Yeah. They uh, lost. Yeah. Where are you outside? It looks like you have an Italian pot cedar there or something. That tree? Oh, yeah. Oh, here's. Yeah, and then um, here's this. I'm watching this crazy one. Kind of cool. Oh, really? Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Hi there. Hi. He graduated. He graduated from Brian. He graduated from kindergarten today. So, so you bought her a hot tub. What a good father. Had that, and then had a, a eighth grade, an eighth grade graduation today too. So yeah, uh, it, 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 it's terrible when they, you know, don't let you graduate from kindergarten. Yeah, they have a lot of skills. You should have heard the commencement speech. It was awesome. Really? Plays well with others. <laughs> I was answering back. Didn't, didn't you have to go through <laughs> kindergarten three times, Phil? I no, I, I couldn't pass that plays well with others part. Well, he's he can tell that by just his participation in this program. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, you, know, you 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 told your story, Alex. It took about forty minutes, and it was interesting. It would have only taken twenty if Phil didn't interrupt you every five words. Yeah, well, it, it took me it took me uh, forty minutes to tell and about eight to ten hours to do, and I'm sure I'm leaving stuff out because for part of it I was in an absolute haze. I didn't know what was going on. I mean, they weren't giving me all they gave me was uh, certain medicine to uh, take the care of the take care of the nausea, but that's nausea. about it, you know, and the drip, and the drip. Um, and the drip. So, wow, really? Yeah. Doesn't it burn when you urinate? Have what? After the drip? the drip? No. Nah, he's talking no. about having uh, oh, like oh, a. Oh. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the worst part about them doing a drip, is that you have to urinate every half hour or something Absolutely. because they're pump, pumping water into you, pumping saline, saline yes. into you, yep. and so, so now you they, now they send me up to get this full CT right where they're going to do the contrast and everything, and they hand me two bottles of water. And they say, they drink this before you get up there. And I assume it's because it helps with the with the CT scan, helps to see things better and so on. So I drink both bottles of those, and then I get up there, and they go, well, one of our, uh, one of our uh, uh, CT yeah. scan uh, is, is, is not working. So we're really slow. So it's taken forever, and I'm going, I've got to pee now. I just drank these two bottles of water, right? And I finally said to them, can I pee? Do you mind if I pee? Because this is terrible. You're not getting to me, and I drank it, so it would be good for the seat. They said, go ahead, pee. You know, so I did. But I was, pee I was, pee the I was peeing a lot. The contrast yeah. What? They actually give you the water to flush the contrast. The contrast in a CT scanner is iodine. No, they gave it to me before they gave me this Yeah, well, contrast. it takes time to work through your system, so. No, they, that is why okay. they give it to you. They give it I to you know. so it will uh, it, uh, open, make things larger in that area and so on, so they can look at they it. But anyway, they even looked at, they even looked at my, uh, my hemorrhoid, my hemorrhoid, my, uh, uh, uh ulcer. Uh, no, my, uh, what's he the ball? picture of Phil in your hemorrhoid. Can I please think for a second without you guys interrupting? No, well, I have, me. I have a hernia and I've always been worried about it because if a hernia goes and whatever, and it looked and it said, but it's not the constricting or anything like that. So I know my, my hernia is fine. Okay. So, I mean, this, I think I should get a full body scan every year and I wouldn't be a hypochondriac anymore. Or maybe I would increase maybe my... Maybe you will be. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm thinking the nodules will turn cancerous and I'll die. But then again, you know, but, you know, it's, it's okay. You know, I'm not worried about it. You know, What it, can it, they do about those nodules? Anything? Uh, not really. Um, the, the nodules, they can, they can go in if they get you know to a point where they go over three millimeters they could get cancerous uh, they're usually not cancerous under three millimeters i'm at two millimeters one to two millimeters so it's not you know i'm not in that can the cancerous area but it could get to that you know and if it gets to that i think they just go in there and remove it go into your lung and they, take it out like polyps in your colon when they get to a certain size they just go in there and remove them on, yeah, uh, on those nodules in the heart 
I mean, yeah. in the uh, in, in the lungs. In the lungs. lungs. Yeah. So it's not the same as lung cancer. No. No. My mother had that. I think. And, and I think I may have the one I have, the first one, because I smoked. You know. Yeah, my mother was a smoker. She had. It might just be your age. Wait, wait, wait. And I'm not picking on your age. I mean, as you get older, things happen. What'd you say, Tony? My mother was a smoker a long time ago, and when she was alive, it was about I would say she was in her mid fifties. She had something on her a nodule on the lung. It was a little past three, so they biopsied it, and it was negative because she stopped smoking it. But other than that, it just stayed there. They never did anything. It always would come up in the X-ray. It just stayed. Yeah, I but, remember but they, but they, they if it was under three, they wouldn't have biopsied it. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, it so. was about three, and I remember Dr. Rubin said, we're going to biopsy. We never did. So she was worried, oh, God, is it lung cancer? He said, I doubt it. He said, well, let's just do it. And it always stayed there. So when we used to go to the doctor for our x-ray, it was, he would show it to me. There it is still, you know. Yeah. But it never actually grew again. It, it never really moved anymore. Yeah, anymore. well, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, I wouldn't even worry about it. At least like my worries. Be, being, being knifed in Harlem is a bigger chance, right? Yeah, exactly. you got a better chance of getting bugged, Alex. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I but... Uh, I, I got to tell you, this was quite an adventure because I've never had anything like this happen to me before. Especially, you know, I've, 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 I've never. I, your toenails for you I mean, or when you yeah, fell oh, on oh, the oh. sidewalk, what? when you fell on the sidewalk, did you go to the emergency room to no, get checked out? No, no, huh? no. I just o went, only for your wrist. I, I just limped home, and you know, my hand was hurting for a couple of days. Whatever. Sure. The walk of shame. I've got to go get another shot. My hand's hurting again. But anyway, it it. Um, uh, they won't give you I'll another you, shot. The other thing for I was three thinking, months. But the other thing I was thinking about, I was lying on my back in the bathroom, right? Can't mm. move. Can't. Mm. You know, and I'm just wondering. I'm saying to myself. First of all, the first thought I had is, I'm thinking I'm dying. I think I could die from it. I mean, it was really, that was a great fear because I just felt just completely out of it. Like mm -hmm. all I had to do was go over the threshold and goodbye everybody, you know? And the other thing I thought about immediately, and this is the most interesting part of it. I said to myself, uh, I don't, I'm here on the bathroom, lying on my back. I don't want to die here. Because this is where Elvis and Lenny Bruce. I was going to say he died on the shit, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. No, please, we have a little. We have a little girl here. Don't don't use language. Oh, like sorry. That to me. Yeah. You know, I, I was thinking of Atkins uh, when uh, when I heard you slip. Uh, you know how Atkins slipped on the ice and hit his head, and that Did was he? that. Yeah. I, I didn't remember that. But anyway, what I'm thinking, what I was thinking was the Atkins died. Elvis died this way. I don't want to die in the bathroom on my back. You know, where did I, where did Alex die? Well, he was in the bathroom. At least you know, these these. Well, uh, let's see here. Lenny was lying on the floor mm -hmm. like I was, but Elvis actually died on the cans. A lot That's of my bad. father. Yeah, my grandfather. He. He was feeling really sick over the weekend, and then went to Doctor Friday. Doctor says, "Oh, he's fine." That night, Sunday night, he was coughing so much. I went into his bedroom. He wanted to go to the restroom. He went to the restroom. And then I lifted, helped him lift him off the toilet, brought him into the bedroom, into the living room. Yeah. And he died in my arms. But that was the last thing. Like, that's, I hear that's the last thing you do is go to the restroom and then, wow. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, di know. I'm dying. I think I got to take a good dump. My dad, had, my dad had open heart surgery mm -hmm. and in 72 they didn't know about clotting medicines and about 10 days after the operation uh he wasn't feeling good we took him to the hot or the ambulance took him to the hospital and overnight he was in the hospital for a few days and uh had to go to the bathroom went to the bathroom and that was it boom got a blood clot done and anti-clotting medicine yeah. yeah yeah but anyway i uh you know, it was quite a quite an adventure. Um, you know, spending that many hours uh, in a um, in a uh, ER. ER. Um, you have no deductible, I hope. Uh, I have no deductible. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, no, I have no deductible. Thank God. We, yeah. that's, that's the you insurance. You know, when you get picked. the when you get the bill, you're going to have to let us know. Uh, you know what all these tests. Were I'm cost. imagining. The bill, if I were to get a bill, I don't. I 50K. guess I, I guess I will oh, say. Oh, more than that. Oh no. My guess is fifty k. My guess, guess about five grand. That's it. Mm, yeah, sure. I mean, that's see all. You in ER for a stub toe for that. 
Well, okay, ten grand. Okay. All right. I. 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 I what's that TV show that? But you after used to after Medicare says what they'll pay, and my insurance has to go along with what Medicare says it's worth, the hospital's going to get three hundred dollars. Right. You know, so. Yeah. That's why but they, they make don't it bill so fifty grand. Huh? Don't yeah. bill fifty. Don't bill at fifty. Least. Yeah. At least. I think they'll bill fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Now, CT scan and interpretation is about eight thousand on the West Coast. Interpret one CT it, scan and one radiology guy. Interpretation. Huh? Interpretation. Yeah. Well, the radiologist has to interpret it, so. His expertise and the and the CT is about eight grand on the West Coast. Oh wow, wow! MRI is about ten. Oh, okay. Isn't that a McLaren payment? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Huh? <laughs> Hell, my my new computer I seems off, my new you. computer seems rather cheap now. Yeah, ready? Yeah, like it. Instead of a McLaren payment this this month, you bought your uh, daughter a graduation from kindergarten uh, present, a hot tub, right? Uh, no. There's no review. This was from Tiffany's pants are here. They're saying goodbye. They, we had a graduation party, so. Oh, yeah, there they are. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. So, so Very I mean, nice. That's very nice. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Back at you. I'm just doing some stuff I got to do because I had to sign on without doing a lot of stuff. So I'm just uh, getting things uh, set up here. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, so I, it, it was it was kind of a, a real adventure that I had, yeah, and uh, a scary one at, at, as well because I, I've never been sick in that way before, and it seems like this is getting to be too much for me. You know, I mean, I, I, I fall down, I trip, you know, I do that kind of thing. You got to take more precautions as you get like over fifty. Yeah, you, you know. Uh, a fish, raw fish is a big get people sick thing if it's not kept right, you know. Right. So right. if if you need to worry about getting dehydrated and throwing up and maybe having a heart attack or your or your kidneys shut down or something, maybe you shouldn't eat raw fish anymore. Well, and yeah. and you know it's also the handling of it. You know if they cross contaminate it yes. with uh, something else. You could end up uh, getting Absolutely. this kind of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you really are. <laughs> but uh, it 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 was uh, it, get closer to your mic, uh, Tony, because uh, I said you better off going to McDonald's, Alex. <laughs> you know well, you know what I said to Marjorie as <laughs> I as as we were getting into uh, it was it was getting to be about five o'clock. Yeah. As I looked at her and I said, I think the fastest way to get out of this emergency room is to die. <laughs> wrap it up. Yeah, wrap hey, it up. Get out of here. Get yeah. them out of here. Back so we can up at the morgue. Yeah, we uh, put, send them to the morgue. We haven't got any more room in the emergency for a dead body. You know. But I just, I, it's just spooky. It's spooky because I've never had anything like this happen to me. I've never been taken to the hospital in an ambulance. Dude, that's wow. Good. And by the way, this is the second ambulance trip for this family. Right. Yeah, but how much does the ambulance cost? That's expensive. Seven hundred. That's fifteen thousand. I would say seven hundred for the ambulance. I'd say about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. When I'd say double know. that. Yeah. Oh, by the way, here's what they do now. It's very interesting. Thank God they all have iPhones. All these doctors have iPhones. And what happens? Let me throw my stuff in there you, okay. you facetime you don't tell me you face no oh, you're they taking all a COVID have, test they all have john they all have the oh and i've had Brian, a i can't figure it out though i think i got a bad i'll, bad I'll help you in a minute Man, okay COVID. okay but here here's the deal um uh I, they all have phones and what they did with all the phones um uh, which is you know is they always are looking at them, and then anytime they give you a pill it has a barcode on it, right? They take a picture of it and record the barcode, and it goes to some place, and they're charging you for that pill. Everything you do, everything you do, they change the 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 needle in your arm. Boom! They're they're coding it, you know, so that everything, every nook and cranny of this process, uh, is um, you're kind of weird, Ray. 
Um, yeah. Oh, he's you know, sideways. Well, yeah, well, he, he uh, keep... you know, there's a, there's a card. There's a guy uh, who is also a photographer that's uh, at the UC Theater, mm -hmm. uh, uh, David's Theater, and uh, he's a cardiologist. And we'll be in the pit taking pictures, and he pulls out his iPhone and he's looking at patients, uh, you know, whatever the graph is on his iPhone. You know, to see patients that he's monitoring, and there he is taking pictures at uh, the well, UC Theater. Of a you rock know, band. Uh, a, a lot of you know, I, I yell and scream about the computerized age we live in, and there are terrible things about it. Um, but this is one of the better things: is that they can keep tabs on you. Uh, and uh, if you have an iPhone and an iPhone, they see. I don't know how they could tell where I was at any given time but they always seem to know hmm. you know because you have the location on your phone turned on and so they can track oh you. really this phone wasn't with me oh oops listen so, I so left what the about your I watch I was yeah, rolled out watch? of this fight and my watch went uh, went dead uh, during the whole process of the day I, of do we want to help John Larkin do his test no, I'm getting it. I'm figuring it out. I got okay. it. Okay. Just one quickly. You take this that cap off. Yeah. You put the solution in there. Uh, no, no, no. You put the solution in in that uh, thing that has no, the, the cap on it. Come with the solution in them. And then uh, you, then uh, you shove the, the whole thing you up your you ass. Get the swab in there for after you open it up, right? No. Uh, what what happens after you take the solution off? There's there's a uh, there's a reader. All right. Uh, after you put the swab in, I know. And, wait, a minute, wait a minute, Phil. Phil, Phil, Phil. And, all yeah. you got to do is go to the website for these, and they have a video in YouTube. Yeah, so but if he if he puts the solution in that thing, and then uh, what he what he's going to do is he's going to swab his. Uh, I'd rather hear his, about Alex. His nose. Who's going to put it into the solution? Right. Can, Can we talk about computer, computer, computer problems? Can we talk about computer problems? Yeah, really. Then you're going to put the cap on. Then you put three drops. Boy, this is great programming. Three isn't drops it? in the reader and wait 15 minutes. This is really exciting wrong. stuff. You got it wrong. This is you, 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 you do the nose thing and then you dip the swab right. into this and then you dump it into the reader. That's correct. Yeah. That's right. This is why he he was really sick with the cold last week. It was really COVID because he kept using the test. I did before. five of them. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he kept them up his ass. That was the problem. Right. That's bad right. Sample. Yep, bad samples. Did anybody watch the? Uh, oh yeah. The thing tonight. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, January sixth. Oh, I, I, I think uh, it's getting closer and closer to cuffs for Trump, huh? No. Well, I mean, they'll I, never go to jail. Yeah, that's I, not I even agree. a criminal. That's court. They're gonna, they're gonna get all the low hanging fruit and leave the big guy alone. No, I think they're going for him right off the bat. They're trying to turn him into a felon so he can't run again. Well, that's a good thing. He's going to run. It's just a matter of whether he's going to I don't think he's going to run, or if he tries, they're not going to nominate him. Yeah, I don't think he'll get nominated. <clears throat> you know, I think he's. You know, they they feel like <clears throat> he's got too many too too much stuff against him now to have to go through know. another one of these things. Over, you know? over but I, I, I really want to see him go to jail, though. Yeah. He, he, oh. Totally deserve yeah, it. me too, weekend, but NBC, I don't think so. NBC ran a, a poll of Trump versus DeSantis, and they said DeSantis would beat Trump if the election was held today based on this is NBC. Yeah, so, well, I love this. You know, we're all we're just we're, we're about two and a half years away from the next election. Will yeah. you just not? Will you just stop? Will you just stop? Two and a half years means they're going to start campaigning and raising and rate. Well, they've yeah. always been raising money, but uh, you know how the campaigns you said that you would like campaigns to start 30 days prior to uh, the election. Mm -hmm. Well, I think they started two years ago. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no question about yeah. it. And I, I really think it's ridiculous. OK, I really think it's terrible. Uh, I, I think that, you know, we should what we should do is uh, hold the primary, you know, uh, start about a year before the election and then do all your stuff you got to do and your debates and stuff for the primaries and then you, you put up your best person 
and then the two of them debate for a little bit starting in uh, in July and uh, or August, and then you hold the election. One year. Nobody should even be be campaigning before a year. To we go. we just had a primary in California, where uh, the um, the progressive district attorney in San Francisco was ousted in a but six. That wasn't a prime. That wasn't a primary. Uh, uh, no, it, it was a recall. A, it was a recall. Election. Yeah, well, the recall was part of the primary. Uh, so there were other things on this. There were. Uh, uh, what do they call those, uh, you know, like propositions, as well as, uh, you know, for instance, in, Co in Contra Costa, we had the sheriff, we had the DA, uh, we had the senators, uh, and, and, a num and the governor. Well, uh, well propositions are, you know, it, it, it should be pretty good to John. John Larkin would know about propositions because on the street where he lives, they're going on all the time. <laughs> John got that. I got it. I got it. He lives. He lives in the tenderloin. Get it? And Dave Chappelle says there's nothing tender about that area. <laughs> anyway, I you know I mean I don't know I don't I don't care I don't watch I don't watch like MSNBC. I'm starting to watch CNN because they have a new policy now, and the new policy is that they don't want to advocate journalists. Have you know the people who read the news. To, to advocate, and I think that's good. You know? That started already? Yeah. Because that was their plan. Yeah. Uh, well, and I tell you the truth, I think that's a uh, that's one avenue that has not been explored for a long time, and I think that that would be a really... In I other words, they, they feel that. That, that, that what they should be doing is journalism, right. not advocacy. And I'm sick or and opinion. tired of turning on MSNBC, and I'm sure you're kind of sick of tuning into Fox, and you know mm -hmm. what to expect, you know? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I watch those shows where they're on the couch and they're and they're pushing their books, and uh, you know, the guy from My Pillow is advertising. You know, I, I I watch those pretty lightweight things. You know, I get up in the morning and well, you don't get more lightweight than the My Pillow guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, there is those, uh, what is it, the, the uh, six pills you can take uh, for getting your vegetables. That That's a big one. Now, you, you wrote me something the other day, and I, I should bring it, I brought it up the other night, and I'll bring it up now while you're here. And that was that you said that uh, uh, you're really not going to go out after Biden anymore that you feel maybe your job is to support the president or to at least not be unsupportive of him. That's true. You know, yeah. as far as I, I don't like uh, I didn't like all of this stuff that they did to Trump to try to interfere with him doing what he said he was going to do. Yeah. You know, what basically the, they went after what the Trump. What are you talking they, about? Yeah. Well, basically, they went after him personally. And, so, you know, uh, I figure. I figure that uh, uh, the majority of people voted for Biden. They wanted what he said he was going to do. He was going to raise the gas. He was going to raise taxes. He was going to, uh, you know, uh, go after uh, fossil fuels and, and so forth. And that's what he said he was going to do. And that's what he's doing. Those people voted for him. And that's what they wanted. Now, whether it works out uh, is, is a different story, but it's you know, I supported what Trump was doing, and he said, I'm going to do this. These are the judges I'm going to elect and, and so forth. And I was uh, I, I supported that. But yeah. my guy didn't win. And so, therefore, uh, I'm just going to win. John, uh, you know, it's at this point, the other guy got sworn in. Okay. So, you know, once he got sworn in, uh, it, it's over. You know, and he, he, John, he's tired of all the negative stuff going on on the show and he, in his and life, he, and he's just, you know, yeah, he, well, he I'm doesn't like. I don't think he person. likes the negative he is, stuff. He's a very positive person. I don't think he he likes what's going on in the country so far That's as right. negative stuff is concerned, That's and right. uh, you don't want to be part of it anymore. That's true. Yeah, and that's you know, basically what you told me. It's not that yeah. you've suddenly decided not to have your politics that you've always had, but that you're you're just going to take a different approach to defending them. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I, I don't. Uh, I, I don't think. I think that you know, calling somebody the orange man or going after Biden, saying he's he's crazy or he he's losing his mind, those kinds of things don't do anything to help the nation. Mm -hmm. All they do is tear things down and make more division. So uh, so you know, I just figured you, you that's just, it. You, you know, don't, I still... didn't like what they, yeah. I didn't like what they did to Trump, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to lower myself to do it to Biden. Okay. All right. Everybody should know that two weeks ago, Bill slipped and was unconscious mm -hmm. for a couple of minutes. And then when he came to, he changed his mind. He's actually a very positive person. And it surprises me sometimes what he says on the show. And I, sometimes I think it's just to get everybody's go. Well, I, you know, I just, I just decided that uh, I didn't want to play in that sandbox. That's right. It's time to move on. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. That's good, Phil. So anyway, has anybody ever had the kind of uh, situation that I had yesterday, where you, where you got so you know you got dizzy and nauseous and you couldn't get out get your head off the pillow perhaps you know. Yep, Ooh, I've had food poisoning. It's horrible. Yeah, I mean, I have. I, you have, Ray? Yeah. Did mm -hmm. the same thing kind of happen and, to you? Yeah, and I ended up in the hospital like that, and I did CT scans, and. Um, and they were gonna. They, they thought I had a brain embolism, and they were getting ready to do brain surgery on me. I was getting. I was just about to get a spinal tap, and then the, it was the middle of the night, and the head the head surgeon called in desperately and said, "No, he just has a large vein in his head. Do not open him up." Hmm. And was then that, I had a headache. Huh? Was that due to an MMA uh, match? No, but did, did you no. did you did you hit the your no, head? No, I, I had a I had a high blood. I had, to, I had a hypertensive crisis because of some medicine I took. See? And it made me pass out and I was vomiting. Gotta stay away from that could... Viagra. No, it wasn't that. And then, um, yeah, so then, uh, and then they gave me some medicine because I had a headache and that gave me a reaction where I completely lost my mind and I'm, I didn't know I was allergic to it. They sent me a bill for $60,000 <laughs> and um, it got negotiated down to 30 and then they were going to make me pay like 15 or 20 and I said, I'm not paying a penny. First of all, you made all these mistakes. You almost did surgery on my brain. You gave me a medicine that drove me out of my mind. They told me they were going to sue me. Then a year, I said, I'm not paying anything. A year later, I got a, a letter from Stanford saying they've forgiven the whole thing. And I didn't pay a penny. Ooh. Yours is 60000 That's why I say Alex has got 100000 He won't get billed for that because he's got insurance. But Well, I'm, I'm going to get billed for it. I will see the, the bill. The is $100,000. It, it was sixty thousand, if I remember, sixty something, and then the insurance company negotiated and got it down to like thirty something, and they ended up billing me like between. 60 well, you see, and here's 10, what my insurance company has to do: the Medicare will pay what Medicare will pay, okay? Uh, they will immediately negotiate it down because when they say it's only worth this much, right, Jeff? The hospital has to has to go along with that price that they say it's worth. And then I, my I insurance, Jeff, yeah. my insurance pays the twenty percent that Medicare doesn't pay, completely, no wow, deductibles, wait, wait, nothing. I bet you Jeff is the six million dollar man. We're talking about fifty thousand. Oh yeah. And 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 so forth. What what do you think uh, they got into you, Jeff? Well, I mean, the best thing is uh, the insurance. Yeah, but or how much? Like you're dead. <laughs> Financially. Yeah. yeah. So. What do you think they spent on you? Oh. At least two million dollars. You know, the yeah. thing is, what, what's wow. interesting today about medicine, what bothers me about it, is that the first thing, the first question they ask at the hospital of Marjorie, when she brought me in, was, "What's your insurance?" Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, that they depends on paid. what they're going to do for you. And here's oh, here's he the other thing. Here, I'll tell you the Give other thing. Two aspirins. The other Send thing about, about the insurance. Let me explain something about the insurance. So she writes me, sends in a prescription to my pharmacy, right? The pharmacy says, we can't do it. So why? Said the doctor has to give prior, ask for prior sure. authorization. Sure. And I'm going, let me think about this for a second. They sent me to the hospital because I was nauseous. So they want me to have at least 10 of these pills on hand just in case I, ever, I get nauseous like this again, right? Yeah. But what if this were some kind of pill that, you know, was 
essential to my getting better, all right? And uh, I thought for a second, and I went, they'd, ha they'd ask for pre-authorization, and then they wouldn't give it to me until like they, they got the pre-authorization. What, in the meantime, I could die because I didn't have the pills available to me. I mean, it's just terrible what these insurance, what, what prior authorization? I pay you for pharmaceuticals, you know, for insurance on pharmaceuticals. Now you do your part of the job. How do you fun? like government-sponsored socialized medicine now? Yes, I so, like the so, idea. So in, uh. in California, if you go to the ER, ER doctors do not have to get prior authorization to treat you for anything that they see that you need. No, but we're Unlike, talking. You're talking about treating me there. But when they call in for a prescription, that prescription has to be pre-authorized. They, they, what did they give you? Promethazine, little pills? No, it's it's yeah, it's something. I can't remember what it was, but it's an expensive. It's a common. It, it's a common anti nausea. No, no it's an inspect. In, you know, in, it, well, here I'll tell you what it is. Hold on, everybody, hold on a second. I gotta go All over right, here and get the paper. Uh, are you waiting? Uh, you're 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 that Brian. They have on me and what happened. Anyway, there's 45 people watching, so you know, not saying that you should hit your head every week, but you know. yeah, there are actually 47 people watching right now. <laughs> Maybe something, you know, just a little, uh, a little yeah, something. It is. Okay. It is 47. Here we go. What is the highest? What is oh, it? now 47, yeah. Oh, no. boy, I never heard of this drug before. Uh, Ona Demetron O Dancetron. Oden Cetron, that's what it says. O D T, and that's what I, uh, that's what I, you know, that's what I got. And then I looked to see what it was without uh, the ten pills without insurance, and it was uh, seventy five dollars. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why they don't go ahead and okay that. Hello, Adrian. She, she, yeah. That's the graduate. That's the graduate yeah. right there. She graduated kindergarten. Do they yeah. do they teach them a lot in kindergarten now? Because for me, yeah, it was just you, it was just cutting out. She, she's she she's pretty advanced because they're learning how to read and stuff like that, and she's like she knows you know a lot of that stuff. So yeah, she's now, does, she, does she <laughs> color Brian? Does she color inside or outside of the lines? Uh, she cut. Hello there. Yeah, uh, um, Everyone's going in the hot tub. Come on over, Phil. Come on around. Hey, Ray. Ray and John, you guys come by here in about an hour, right? You guys we just went up Ray to, might have COVID. We, we just went up to 50. I think we need... I, I mean, John. I, John I, may hey, have COVID. Hey, babe, you got to come over here more. Yeah, more hold on a second. We're, we're up to 51 now. We need more women with bikinis on. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> next, Phil will be in a bikini. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's negative numbers. Yeah, that's I'll, negative I'll numbers. Be, I'll be in New York next weekend. Are oh, you coming into New York? Yeah, we're we're gonna see a play. What are you gonna go see? American Buffalo. Oh, really? Oh, uh, great show. Good. Yeah. I, uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's what's his name? Uh, Mamet. Uh, uh, David Mamet. Is that Mamet. David Mamet? Yeah. The other day we yeah, went. Mamet. And, the other day we went and saw <laughs> Company. I I like uh, Glenn Gary Glenn Ross, uh, yeah, which was a uh, movie yeah. adapted from uh, a Mamet. Yeah. Well, uh, I went and saw a Sondheim Mamet. A Sondheim Mamet. musical Mamet. last uh, last week. Uh, Company, How which is that? just incredible. Just incredible. That's a great show. Huh? Company? Yeah, it's a great show. It's, I love it. And and in, in this show where originally the lead was a was a guy the lead is now a woman and i since i never saw the ones with a guy i can't imagine this thing with a guy doing the part because it's about a person who all their friends are saying to them uh, why aren't you married why aren't you getting close to married don't you want a, yeah. a, a man in your life and then uh, she goes around investigating what marriage is all about and finds these people aren't as happy as they say they are you know and i'm thinking I can't imagine a guy playing that in this day and age. I mean, even back then, if if some guy said, "I'm 35, and I'm not married," everybody give him a high five. You know, so the, nobody asked guys back then, "Hey, how come you're 35 and you're not married?" 
they they're, gay. they're gay. Yeah, but yeah. but this this he's, worked. He's confirmed this, bachelor. <laughs> yeah, but but this gay. worked because women have that biological clock ticking, the whole wow. deal, and I really it was terrific. It was just terrific. So, that's my my recommendation if you come to New York. That's a great show. I yeah. just saw cats here in San Francisco. I yeah, I saw it too, but it's phony. I, 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 I didn't mean, like it because I, I went there and they're using people dressed as cats. Yeah, for sure. What's that all about? Yeah, what's that all about? <laughs> I was expecting I was going to go see singing cats. You know? The guy next school. door to me has got two cats. Yeah, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, have not, I don't have a clue as to what the hell the thing's about either. Cats? Yeah, it's just a bunch of cats singing and dancing. Yeah, what's so. about cats? It's taken from uh, what was the uh, it was a book by somebody. Uh, yeah, fucking uh, bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. It well, that's what's his name. I can't think of names right now. Andrew Weber. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Andrew Lloyd Andrew Webber. Lloyd Webber. I, his yeah, stuff Webber. is so terrible. I can't stand it. You know. Except for Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah, yeah that, that was good. Uh, that like was that. okay. You know. Uh, what what was the one where uh, they were singing about a steam train and people would roller skate out into the oh, audience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xanadu. No, no, it was roller uh, something. Oh, an Andrew Lloyd Webber play? No, I don't. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Andrew Lloyd. That was, was Andrew it? Lloyd yeah. Webber. Oh, oh. Um, uh, I saw it in London. Every, everybody's on roller skates on stage. Yeah, and and yeah, uh, but but there's these ramps the and they opera. go out <laughs> into the uh, out oh, into the audience. And they're, and they're and they're rolling around uh, on like a track that, that goes uh, in the air above the audience. Yeah, is it pretty noisy though? Uh, yeah, you can't hear anybody sing, but it's who wants yeah. to. Uh, uh, no, you could hear them. Uh, you know, you I suddenly like realized I mentioned train. I mentioned to Marjorie. I said, "You realize, Marjorie, this is the uh, the second Sondheim musical we've seen." Because uh, and she says, "What else do we see?" And we saw Sunday in the Park with George, which was also oh, I liked it a lot. Great. Yeah, I that love is, Sondheim. Sondheim, yeah, Sondheim was great. Incredible. Just Sunday incredible. in the Park is great too. Yeah, yeah. and so so is um, uh, Sweeney Todd is amazing. Well, the thing about about um, uh, Company is Company was the first musical that he wrote both the lyrics and the music. Uh, and, yeah, no. uh, and it was his the only comedy he ever did. So right. it has a lot of comedy in it. And after that, it was like, you know, Into the Woods and uh, in the Sunday in the Park with George and Sweeney Todd and on and on and on. You know, he didn't, he got yeah. into some really You're, you're right. Crap. It was Andrew Royd Rubber. It was Starlight Express. That's it. Starlight Express. Supposedly right. one of the worst musicals of all time. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Well, anything he does is one of the worst. I even bought the record out, you know, out in the lobby. You know, Phantom of the Opera sucks. You know, um, if, if when you work at those things and you see those musicals over and over again, you start to notice where they fuck up and stuff. Well, you know what about I'll tell you, uh, uh, because you probably see them at the uh, at the Warfield, right, or something. Or, well, yeah, or, that's yeah. what I mean. When you see them over and over again, you can catch their mistakes. Well, because stuff. people are, you know, what's a great? It's the one thing that's great about theater. Every performance is absolutely original. Yeah. It will never be that way again. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you like Phantom of the Opera? I just hate it. I just don't like it. It's, I don't want to hear it. It like, offends yeah, my thought, ears. I thought, yeah, I thought Sarah Brightman and Antonio Banderas did a great job. That's like wonderful. That. Terrific. But they, you, you, know, you still can't shine shit. You know? you know, when you have a play like Cats. Negative. Yeah. Oh, you're Yay, not positive. Negative. <laughs> the C stands for COVID. Hey, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and that stands for pool. Uh, yeah, you're doing the music control, man now. Control. Well, you know, like cats. I guess there was like ten thousand performances, yeah. and uh, and e there was even some of the original cast from opening night in in most of those performances. And it has to be every night has to be opening night for the audience. And you know, it's it's amazing. Well, I, I asked somebody who does uh, did did musicals. I can't remember who. How many good yeah. shows do you have a week? And they said probably two. Really? Yeah. The the rest of them are okay. You know, it's always up to a certain level. But having a really good show, maybe you're lucky if you get one a week. You're li really lucky if you get two a week. Yeah. I saw Ray do uh, love letters, 
And I, I, I don't know how he didn't cry. I mean, I, I was like, uh, you know, the tears, the tears were all over the place. Because and, it rehearsed for four weeks. Yeah. yeah. It was, anyway, hey, listen, it was fabulous. We're, running, Jeff, we're running out Jeff of time here. Up. Jeff has yeah. his hand up. Could, did you guys ever see uh, the 76? 1776? Yeah. I was in that show. I saw the movie. Handcuffed. Doing it. Well, it. tomorrow night we'll talk Broadway. Okay. How's that? Since all you people yeah. want to talk Broadway, we'll talk Broadway tomorrow night. But meanwhile, I got to say goodbye to everybody. Good night, Phil. Hey. Uh, good night to uh, Jeff. Good night to uh, Alan and to Tony. Who don't listen to a thing Tony has to say about anything that happens to me that he heard through Shecky. Okay, <laughs> because it's like the game of telegraph, you know yeah. that thing. Uh, uh, thank you very much, John. Good seeing you. If you come to New York, give me a call. Okay, love I'll to see it. I'll do it. Yeah, love to see you. Here's uh, here's Ray, and thank you, Brian, for bringing your entire family to tonight's proceedings, and <laughs> then watch the sun go down behind you. Everybody, wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye at you. Okay? Yeah, there they go. That's our citizen panel for tonight. We'll get another one up here tomorrow night. Meanwhile, Jack Bishop is next with the intersection, and he will be. Uh, let me uh, let me just turn to my camera. Okay. Uh, he will be here again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.